We are going to construct a perpendicular bisector of a line segment using only a compass and a straight edge. In this example, we are going to construct the perpendicular bisector of the line AB. A perpendicular bisector means we want to bisect the line at a right angle to the line. The first thing we are going to do is take our compass and place it on B. We need to make sure that our compass width is greater than half the length of the line. We are then going to draw an arc through this line. Without changing the width, we are then going to place our compass on A and draw another arc. Mark where these two arcs intersect and using our straight edge we are going to join these together. And here we can see we have bisected the line AB at right angles to the line. To bisect an angle means we want to cut the angle in half. The first thing we are going to do is take our compass and place it on B. We are then going to draw an arc across both arms of the angle. Taking our compass we are now going to place it on this new arc and draw an interior arc. And without changing the width we are going to repeat this on the other side. Where these two arcs intersect mark the point. And from our angle at B, we're going to draw a line to this point of intersection. And here we can see we have constructed the bisector of the given angle ABC. We're going to construct a line parallel to a given line passing through a given point. There are two ways to carry out this construction and both of these need to be known. In the first method we are going to use a compass and a straight edge. The first thing we do is we draw a line going through A at an angle to our line. We then take our compass and we draw an arc across both of these lines. We then place our compass on our point A and draw another arc. We then measure the width of our lower arc and moving our compass to our upper arc we draw an intersecting arc across the one that was already there. We're going to mark this point of intersection and using a straight edge we're going to join this to A. And as we can see, we now have a parallel line to our given line passing through A. In the second method, we are going to use a set square. The first thing we do is draw a line perpendicular passing through A. We then turn our set square and we draw another line perpendicular passing through and here we can see we have a parallel line to our given line going through A. And we are going to construct a line perpendicular to the given line L passing through a point not on L. In this example, we are going to draw a perpendicular line through A. First thing we do is we place the compass point on our point and we draw an arc so that it intersects the line twice. And the same over here. We then place the compass point on each new arc and we draw an arc on the opposite side of our point. 
and we do the same on the other side. We mark where these two new arcs intersect and using a straight edge we are going to join this to our point A. Here we can see we now have a perpendicular line passing through A to the line L. There is a second way to do this construction using a set square. We line our set square up against our point A and on the line L. And we draw a line through A. And here we can see we have a perpendicular line passing through L. Both of these methods need to be known. Now, why not try both of these out for yourself and see you in the next lesson.